Welcome back to video number four on how to build a border for my mom's pink double knockout roses garden. In the last video, I mentioned that landscaping projects are never finished. Today, we are going to talk about protecting our garden, putting down this red magic mulch, and planting tulips. What we had in mind originally was to plant the tulip first, put the red magic mulch down, and then put this wire fence. But, as you can see, both here and here, my cats, well, I can guess, I bet you can guess, they pooped overnight. So we had to put this wire fence up. We only have four bags of tulips, which contain 15 bulbs each. That's 60 bulbs. Right here, we're going to, we, that we were gonna plant them in the front in rows, but we don't have enough to. So we're just gonna plant them in clumps. Tulips look better if they're clumped or grouped together. There are many ways to do this, but our idea was to plant nine of them because we have eight plants. We're gonna put one here, seven in the middle, and one back there. But we're going to pull, uh, plant them a little bit closer to us. The reason for that is because we're thinking of planting some annuals here in the middle and taking this out. This is not permanent so that the cats don't poop because the annuals will cover the ground. Right now, that's the game plan. Unless my mom wants to change it. You know how moms are. Originally, we are going to show you how to drill a hole for the tulips by using this amazing tool invented by someone. But, it has to charge. Battery. So, let's go over to this mulch. Yesterday, my dad bought this on sale for $3. Usually, it's for $50. We don't know why there's been a sale. Maybe it's because it's been stored long. And it, you can see right here, the title brand is fading. Or it's because it's early in the season. But nevertheless, that is why you always buy things on sale. That is good good. Before, I said that these flowers are self-cleaning. But just because you don't have to do it doesn't mean you can't do it. So I'm going to give it a little bit of head start, like, you know, a haircut, by using these tools. You can use a scissor or this wonderful, wonderful tool. It's called a shear. I'm going to let my dad and mom, because she's sitting right there, trim off the dead heads and I'll take a break off camera so I'll see you the battery has finished uh, charging and just a warning if you're going to use this kind of method always fully charge this kind of battery it's not like a cell phone battery which you can halfway charge and still be able to use it you have to charge it fully because it has this like memory effect. If you don't charge it fully, that it's gonna lose its full charging capacity. The name of this battery is the Nickel Metal Hydrid, and the name of a cell phone battery is called the Lithium Ion. You can see here that my dad has already uh, positioned the tulips. There are seven in the middle, two rows of three and four, and six bulbs on the front and back or left and right side depending normally the instruction manual for tulip bulbs says to plant them four inches apart and five inches deep but we're only gonna uh, dig them four inches down because the compost is soft from what we know about tulips the new bulb that develops after the first bulb has you know, bloom, it will go deeper. So you, you have to dig up the bulb every three to five years. Let me show you the tools that you can use to dig a hole for the bulbs. First, we have the spade, which has this death valve, um, you know, marking. 
There's also a manual hand tool that looks like this, but it's cone shaped at the side. And when you put it in the ground and you grab it and pull it out, it's supposed to take the dirt with it. But the tool my dad is going to use is this blunt wooden instrument. Because the compost and ground is very soft, you can just dig a hole into it by pushing this in and marking it by this blue uh, string around it. According to this instruction manual here, in our zone, you're supposed to plant the bulbs from September to November, and by that time, the ground is already semi-frozen, and plus, you have to bend down to use this. So, if you have many bulbs and the, or the ground is semi-frozen, the market has this wonderful tool that you can attach to the end of a drill that has a marking of six inches that you can just stand up and just drill fast. And you, there's the setting here. You have to change the torque to, and you have to use child and error to try and get the right setting. We got 20, and then just try again. But you have to pull, pull firmly. I didn't do that. the torque setting to 18 and I'm just gonna drill a few holes three I guess when you're drilling a hole you don't use reverse on the drill to take the drill out you have to pull it and get all the dirt out let me show you here's a nice clean hole but if you reverse, it's gonna leave dirt in the hole. You see how easy and fast it was to use this? And using a using a manual a manual uh, instrument like this would take double the time that you would use this. That is why technology is so important to our lives. I'm going to let my dad uh, finish work on these tulips. And because he's a perfectionist, he's doing it by himself. So I'll see you after he's done. One thing I forgot to mention in this video, but I did mention in the previous video, is that you can't plant tulips or even garlic in the spring. You plant them in fall. But we tricked the tulips because we kept them in the fridge, making them think it was winter. So we've completely finished. You can see here that we've cut off all the deadheads. We've buried all the tulip bulbs and we put down the magic red mulch. You can also see that we put the wire fence back up. And when you plant flowers, Never, ever, ever forget to water them. Let me just go there. Good. Time to wrap up because we have a gazillion other things to do, like planting the vegetables for and getting ready for the growing season. Hi. I'm Ayman. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment in down below, subscribe, and check out our other gardening idea videos. Bye. I'm going to help my brother uh, gather some stones. <laughs>